Yes! 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 It's finally back. One of my favorite anime. So we're gonna talk about, of course, Food Wars. The anime where you eat food, you scream, "Oh my!" And your boobs flash out. That is freaking badass. I loved all the action, right? The cooking, the educational anime is one of my favorite shows of all time. Freaking love it. I uh, mean, since season one, I've been, oh my god, I love, I love the anime. Immediately. I am so excited because first right it's gonna be a new opening. Obviously I was so good in Soma. So we're gonna do an opening reaction and station I'm gonna pause the video. After the opening pausing it and go back and look through the screen by screen as so it's the And tomorrow of course we'll do the same thing for Megademia, which is gonna be the big thing tomorrow, right? Because Megademia tomorrow is gonna be a filler episode, but it's gonna be a new opening. At least I hope so. And that's gonna be like the I feel this this the stream tomorrow mainly is gonna be my academia right going over the opening and ending, also much the episode because it'll be like a filler episode. So, so except for that, I'm high for my academia tomorrow, right? And also high for Soma right now. So let's all watching Soma Soma. New opening. Okay. It's a passport. Alright, that's what the, 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 the school thing they have, yeah. Okay, Soma's running to the light. There's clear area on the other side there behind. I'm gonna show the cat. Yeah, it's classic Soma. I'm gonna show Erin and Soma's always. Probably Megamine and uh, Aldini too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew it, I knew it. It's gonna be UK Ders too. They're, they're definitely gonna be the two, yeah. And the only guy's gonna be Prison again somehow. Like the very last opening. Okay. Oh yeah, see they're all like frozen the fishes, yeah. <laughs> see they're all oh yeah, crazy report, yeah. They're all like in cage stripe by the eyes, of course they are, of course they are. Oh yeah, and the old people, they're kinda out there doing nothing, yeah. The judges and I guess more judges for next Pete, maybe what? Who would order be in shadows? Yeah, and then the evil alchemist. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then it's like he's the Anya. He's the Arch Anya with six weeks, of course. Oh yeah, there we go. They're like, yes! <laughs> Let's fight together! Like the last <laughs> I love it. It's like <laughs> It's like a role-playing game. Yeah, we're gonna go out there and fight them. Oh yeah, oh it's like a and she's like, oh yeah, it's a table tennis reference, and so my it's like a, and like a Yankee Arena? Interesting, very interesting. Okay, so, time to end the last opening. Uh, I immediately, the last scene there, whatever, this is good again there. So, this last scene I think was the most interesting, because you see them like, so it's like, um... Uh, so it's like, uh, yeah, Megamine, of course, you got table tennis pro, right? We know that, you know, Mr. <laughs> Naked Senpai, he, he's the kind of like the, the rich, but yeah, he has that kind of thing going for him. But after this scene, we're gonna go for the bit here, we're gonna see like Erin as like a Yankee? Yeah, I love that! That, that is my ultimate Erin, that's my ultimate Erin! If you ever seen, for example, my reaction to a free person, you know I love Yankee girls. A lot of tough girls, right? So yeah, there we go. And Erin is like, oh yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. I'm gonna take that from that and cut it out later. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, it's Erin. It's a Yankee. Oh man, I probably will replace this thing for an Yankee Erin. I said that looks that looks amazing. I am. <laughs> Aldine is like, a, yeah, he's like a nice guy there. So notice that was so also right is in that. Kind of the Yankee delinquent, right? So him and him and Erin now, they're kind of matching clothes, right? He's showing his breasts, she's showing her breasts. Yeah, they're, they're kind of matching up there. So that, that is really nice. That is nice. Okay, that's going to the cupboard later. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely coming to the cupboard later. Go on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a cup of that later. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for sure, right? For sure. Okay, let's go back to the opening and beginning. I had I was, I was immediately cast me that that jank Aaron. I just immediately cast my eyesight. I was like, yeah, wow. It's like, yeah. okay. So much running to the light, you know, because he's a good character. He's the main character. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the beginning is like whatever. Yeah, it's cool. I like this kind of thing here. And it's, it's always a lot of Aaron and Soma open, right? So I like this thing in the beginning. We kind of see, of course, Soma is one of the shadows moving to the middle right and and the light, and also Aaron is also in the this is the other shadow right. So there's always the, those two the main. Main theme, lead main, yeah, you know, pretty nice. And then we see, of course, Soma and Arena doing the classic. It's actually straight up on opening one. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's actually is opening one in that. Sir, that's true. I didn't think about it first, but 
Do you see that yellow thing there? That is actually opening one drive. And Soma had a red one that was doing his tape and opening one. So there actually is like a cutout of opening one, uh, the red and yellow uh, circle, right? With of course a new thing in the middle here. Yeah, so that's the, that, that is definitely it's opening one inside opening six. That's pretty cool. Not very common to see that. Yeah, and then she does her, you know, you can see it here in the next scene, you know, that she's doing the whole, you know, the, the knife thing to just opening one, right? So there's literally a cutout of opening one. Uh, with her like new, a little more modern take on her, a little more grown up, uh, character developed arena in front of it. It's pretty cool, pretty cool, nice touch to it. And then we see, of course, Mega Mina Didi. And then I guess the rest of the Mega Mina Didi was very full's last opening. Uh, and now, of course, we have in there, uh, there it is. Yeah, there we see, you know, the gang, right? The new contenders, right? They're, they're the allies. We see the other seats. You see, of course, Mr. Clopy Cat, you know, and so on, right? We see the friends that they knock at us. Okay, yeah. Pretty straightforward, right? I would say. And then I guess the heel represents. This is actually pretty nice scene, think about it. This, this, this scene here. This is kind of like them trying, right, to move over this hill in the snow, because we know there's a lot of snow and out in the, you know, in the Sapporo, Hokkaido, and so on, yeah. So, um, I guess this represents them like fighting the light, right? Fighting the, the central. Because there's like a light thing up in the trees there. It's like a hill of you know a lot of snow, slippery hill, right? They have to kind of conquer that hill. So I guess some symbol of sim symbolic, a symbolic part, I suppose, a symbolic part, I suppose, of uh, of the opening there. Uh, let me just push the thing there. Sorry. Uh, 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 bam. Then it's kind of, it's her. Um, it's the cooking. Yeah, it's a baking girl. Yeah, it's her pet up here in there. It's very very quick, but it's clearly her just like a teddy bear with her, right? Yeah, yeah. This is her. Is the is she forged it? Was a long time. She's forged it, right? Yeah, forged seat. It's a teddy bear. Yeah, it was third seat. It's the one with them. Yeah, so she's the forged seat. She's like the master baker. Yeah, master baker. <laughs> Bad joke. Uh, she is her, her pet. The name is the Mega Man Arena. Last season when they were at the festival. And then, of course, the commenter is going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> let's forget. She's going crazy, right? I do like this thing. This is very like last season, but the better thing. That I, and I knew it too. I called it before I went to it. I was like, they are definitely all going to be in prison in the opening, right? Because there's a little. I, I think it's a problem in this whole season. I love this whole last season, so I love the tournament. But it's a little sad that a great character like Nikki, me, and Alice, and so on, right? So the best girls. They can't do anything, they're just in the outside commenting on the battle, right? And last time they were all in like a prison cage, so in the prison, and they were looking sad. But now instead, to make it a little more graphic, they're like encased by ice. <laughs> so I like this more than last season, last opening, because yeah, I know they are like, in, yeah, they're like, they're still stuck in ice, right? So they're stuck in prison, but they are, you know, we're we gonna free them eventually. So, you know, you know it's, it's a good symbolic uh, part of the opening, but it's. It's still the same thing like last season, though. Yeah, they are, they are outside of the battle there. And then Nene, I guess the people consider the lost. Actually, Nene is kind of weird. She appeared there and it's like, yeah, because more than her has have lost so far. So I don't know. Maybe she like regretted her decisions. Um, I don't know why they put Nene there. Yeah, I wonder who these two characters are. It's like a Erina's mother, perhaps. It's like just huge boobies in the opening here. So. I have no idea who this is, yeah, it's very dark here, I know, but because it's a very dark scene here. So there are two other females in front of, uh, you know, evil father, right? Evil, <laughs> yeah, of her father, so, of, you know, Mr. Dad, yeah, and these two, I think, are two new characters. I, have, I don't know what they are. We saw all the judges, they will keep judging, so I don't know why they say judges. So I'm guessing it's going to be like her mother, because she looks like, she has similar hair to Erina, and, uh, you know, she has massive boobies, like they're freaking huge in the image, it's really ridiculous. They're, like they actually look kind of weird because they're kind of like you know they are they're very like pointy yeah she's like these kind of movies right they're very very pointy here her, her tits are like freaking missiles but yeah that's probably erina's mother uh which makes sense because behind her then would be her husband right so i think that that's what i'm thinking that's like you know good mom evil dad kind of thing right probably i think she looks very similar to erina it's like a, it's like a shade of erina but like a milf erina yeah with her of course husband then Probably. And afterwards, we do see Erina. She's the next scene up here, you know, looking, how do I say it? Like she's determined, right? She's determined. She's like, yes, let's go. So I think that that's, that's probably her mom and, you know, 
They had seen her mom yet, so we seen her, we caught her aunt with Alice, Alice's mother, but you know, the milf of the anime, <laughs> yeah, by far, but um, and then we see the different seats, right? We see the kind of cutting like things, pretty cool. And then I like this thing though, when, when he's like, he's number one, he's an angel, <laughs> he's an orange angel with like six wings, he's very, very powerful, he's like. He's the true angel of food, he can make any food better, I love this scene. And behind him is Rindo, and she's like a devil instead, yeah, <laughs> Rindo has, she has a devil wing stride. So, he's the angel and she's the devil, yeah, they're, they're, like, they're like, let's, let's do this, yeah. We are the two strongest chefs in the world, right? The greatest, like, holy chef and the most unholy chef together, right? And they're perfectly together to fight, right? So, there's like a very nice... I think that's a very nice scene there. <laughs> yeah, that's a very nice scene. And then of course they kind of combine their faces into like this, you know, like yeah, like we're gonna fight, right? So they get to get that scene. And then I love this thing with Erin and Solma. This is really cool. I love this scene here when they're doing this whole like, you know, yeah, just combine the powers and their faces appear and they kind of slowly move to the middle to the light. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like a really nice scene and. Afterwards, they have this like role playing battle. <laughs> yeah, afterwards, it's like, and it's, it's of course, again, of course, uh, you know, he's the whole light, she's the devil, right? Rindo is a demon, he's, the, he's an angel, and they're kind of like, fighting all the heroes, like a role playing game or like a church or something. So there, <laughs> there's a kind of last stand against Kafka or something. Yeah, it's like an interesting, you know, <laughs> role playing battle. Right, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with, of course, Mahir Academia, right? Episode 1, Season 4, coming up tomorrow. Of course, we will first react to the opening, go over the opening, right? Get it here with Soma. And then we will, of course, watch the episode, which will be a fifth episode. So I think the, office, the opening is where I will put my meat in tomorrow, definitely. Um, so anyway, subscribe back. I'll see you tomorrow with my academia. And also, we never learn later tomorrow, I think. It should be like, it's like what? Late, it's like 10 o'clock, whatever, whatever. And of course, on uh, Sunday, we do like Villain Saga. And uh, she has a rifle anime and so on, right? And of course, that means Black Clover. And there's a lot of short anime, right? Seven Deadly Scenes, I suppose. We'll forget about that thing. And it's about of Isekai anime. So, see you guys tomorrow with my Hero Academia finally back. And we're gonna have my favorite character and my favorite backstory. And it's freaking gonna be amazing. That arc is one of the best, or if not the best arc, of my Academia. See you guys with that tomorrow. It's gonna be freaking epic.